So I've just uh, taken delivery of another buck converter, uh, DC to DC step down power supply. And this one has the special feature of a four digit seven segment voltmeter and a four digit seven segment ammeter on a little board on the front. Now it's got uh, two potentiometers on the regulator board. One is for adjusting the voltage and the other one is for adjusting the current. So it's a constant current, constant voltage regulator. Now there on the back is the low value resistor uh, for measuring current. And if it looks a little burnt, well, that's not surprising because uh, this little module has a bit of a sting in its tail. So I've just uh, taken the uh, display board off the top. You can see that this module is almost identical to uh, another module that I bought recently with one, uh, just one as far as I can see, difference. And that is that uh, on the one with the display, the pots are the type where you've got the uh, adjusters coming out of the side, whereas this one has them on the top. And for that's fairly uh, obvious the reason for that. You can't get to them when the display board's covering them up. Now what's clever about this is that with the display board sat on the top, it picks up all the uh, voltage and current information it needs from the four pillars that it's screwed to. It doesn't need any interconnecting wires. Now on the back of the display board there's an ST microcontroller which is doing all the display uh, driving and presumably reading voltage and current. Uh, up the top there there's a 74HC164 which if memory serves me right is some sort of shift register so I suspect that's driving the uh, columns, the segments. And then over here there's a dual op amp which is presumably measuring the uh, small voltage across the uh, current sense resistor. Now on the regulator that has the display they've scrubbed out the details of the chip but it's visible on this one. It's an XL4005 uh, from XL Semiconductor. So I've set the voltage to 3 volts and uh, the red LED down there means that it's voltage regulated, not current regulated. But I'm going to shove an LED in here because uh, it'll be fine at 3 volts. And there it is. So the LED is drawing uh, 190 milliamps, 200 milliamps now at 3 volts. So what I'll do is uh, turn the current potentiometer down to start limiting the current. So if I bring that down, I'll just keep an eye on that red LED. I think I set the current quite high. Right, there it goes. As I bring the current limiting down, that's a loose connection on the LED that's causing that. Um, the little LED at the bottom goes to blue and that means it's current regulating. And I can bring the current down, 140 milliamps. It's all over the place. Ah, there we are, 40 milliamps. And the voltage correspondingly drops. So now I've got my cheap uh, sinometer on the 10 amp range. And you'll notice that on it it says unfused. Um, but it should be fine for shorting out a buck converter because the thing will just immediately current limit. So watching that red LED at the bottom, let's short the output. Immediately goes into current limit. We're drawing 270 milliamps. And of course the output voltage has collapsed away to 0 0.05 volts, which you'd expect. But now here's where this thing behaves very strangely. I'm gonna turn both the current and the voltage right down. Now, notice when the current is on minimum, the voltage collapses away, which is in itself a bit strange. But let's turn the voltage to minimum as well, so I can hear the clicks there. Now, I'm going to short this thing out. And you'd expect, with current and voltage both set to minimum, it'll be fine. No, it isn't. 5.55 amps, and on the sinometer, 5.6 amps. So this thing is now running 5 amps through that short, and I can tell you, it's getting hot. So, I'm just running it on 5 amps for a bit, 
to heat it up. And now that it's warm, let's point this thing at it. And we've got 54 degrees, 56, 7, 59. I'm just trying to get that accurately lined up. So that's getting very hot. Now it's okay if you uh, have the voltage set just a little above, a bit above minimum. It sits there quite happily with almost no volts on the output and uh, zero amps. But it's only if I try to bring the voltage potentiometer down but suddenly it shoots up to this bizarre 5 amp thing. Turn that back up to prevent it overheating. So a little bit of a bug in this, not a software bug obviously, but a, a design flaw really. Um, if you want to do the uh, shorting out the output uh, thing to set the current, you need to do it with the voltage uh, not at zero. But apart from the uh, design flaw with the 5 amp thing, uh, this thing's a good little buck regulator. Great for driving LEDs. Let's get this one running full tilt at uh, 300 milliamps. There we are, a bit over. So uh, not a bad device, but just watch out for that uh, crazy 5 amp thing.